auto sector may have been shaken and rattled by the government's decisions regarding strict emission norms and the flip-flop over electric mobility, but engineering giant Cummins sees these changes as an opportunity ripe for the plucking. CNBC TV's Yas Chen and Arundhati Raman report that this is where the company's recently inaugurated technology center in Pune, its largest outside the U.S., will play a key role. state-of-the-art technical center is Cummins' second largest facility in the world and its largest outside America. Built with an investment of approximately 1,500 crore rupees, this research hub can house 2,500 engineers and will be equipped with laboratories, engine testing cells and other engineering facilities. The 67,500 square meter facility in Pune will help Cummins consolidate its research and innovation operations as the company gears up to capitalize on the big changes in the Indian automotive industry. We've invested over a billion dollars in the last five years and, and, and in fact more than 200 million dollars in this center alone. The reason we wanted to do that is because we also see right now the industries at a really important junction. We will be BS6 in April 2020 and BS6 is the same emissions level the US is in and Europe is in these are very exacting standards so we need to make sure we had world-class technical capability in India to ready itself for India's switch to BS6 engines the technical center will feed into Cummins India's engine manufacturing operations based in Faltan in the nearby district of Satara we will be manufacturing all the key components all the key subsystems the engines all here in India so at our Falton campus right. nearby, we've invested in uh, manufacturing for engines, of course, but also for after treatment, for fuel systems, for turbochargers, for filtration. So all these key subsub subsystems now we'll make in India. The transition of BS6 engines is not the only opportunity Cummins is keen to capitalize on. We are launching a brand new electrified powertrain all the way, you know, right. battery all the way through all the motors and systems for buses in Q4 2019. So not too far from now, a year and a half from now, we will be in production making electrified powertrain for buses. And then we will be ready with electrified powertrains, fuel cell driven powertrains, when the market is ready for that. But he says that India's decision to tax intellectual property is a big disincentive given that its Indian R&D operations generate quite a bit of intellectual property that the company uses globally. With Yash Jain in Pune, in Mumbai, Arundhati Ramnan.